The U.S. military now has 631 personnel in West Africa in support of Joint Force Command United Assistance. More than 500 of those are in Liberia, the hardest hit of the African countries stricken by the Ebola virus. About 250 more are scheduled to go. The largest group from the Kentucky Air National Guard will be in nearby Dakar, Senegal, to conduct port operations. One of the logistical problems service members are dealing with is a lack of infrastructure, which makes delivery delivering supplies difficult. Groups of military engineers have been busy setting up a hospital facility which U.S. Public Health Service personnel will operate. Two labs that are up and running will be used by Navy personnel to test more than 400 samples, but they are not engaged directly with patients. Should there be additional cases in the U.S., however, a team of military doctors, nurses, and educators is being trained to handle them. They've gathered in San Antonio, Texas, to learn the very latest techniques for dealing with an Ebola outbreak. Airman First Class Daniel Fernandez reports. A joint team of 30 U.S. military doctors, nurses, and specialized medical trainers have gathered here at Brooke Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. They've been selected to train as a medical support team that could, if necessary, provide assistance to civilian medical professionals in the event of another Ebola case here in the United States. The military has extensive experience in working with our civilian counterparts. Uh, in clinical practice, we do that on a daily basis. Instructors from the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases will spend the next few days training this team to the same standards used by the Center for Disease Control to identify, contain, and eliminate potential outbreaks of the Ebola virus when needed. And we're going to be trained well and uh, exercised uh, to the point where we're going to be able to deliver excellent care if, uh, if the call comes around. After training, the team members will return to their home stations but stand ready to deploy within 72 hours to anywhere in the states as requested by the Department of Health and Human Services. From Brook Army Medical Center, I'm Airman First Class Daniel Fernandez.